uh, uh, they can come at indigenous people or Palestinians, all of the people who are dumb enough to believe uh, that this is some kind of targeted, that free speech thing, that they can penetrate and destroy and shred free speech uh, for Palestinians or shred speak free speech around Palestine or around Africans or around indigenous people, et cetera, et cetera. They can do this and then, uh, and, and your free speech is going to be protected. It's insane. In fact, that's exactly how oppressive systems work. They will pick uh, a force, a source that they think is least popular and sometimes despise in part because of the work that they have done to make them despise people or contribute to that. They will attack the rights there. And if they can penetrate the rights of free speech by attacking black people, by attacking people of free, talk about Palestine, uh, talk about the, the indigenous people here who can uh, <coughs> criticize America for keeping the children in cages at the southern border, if they can do that kind of thing, they've, they've, they've shredded free speech, period. It's not my free speech, it's your free speech as well. That's the point that I think is important for us to make. And the thing is that law has nothing to do with this except uh, as uh, a lawyer I once had made the point that law is the opinion of the ruling class. Uh, uh,